my series on functions. Today I'm going to be finding the image of a function. So when we talk about a function, generally we're talking about a function called f, and f is going to map x to y. f stands for function, and x is going to be the domain, while y is the codomain. Codomain. Now sometimes when we talk about functions, we'll talk about images of functions. So we can talk about images of a subset of the domain. So if A is a subset of X, we say that F of A is the image of A. So what we're doing is, we're taking a subset of the domain, which is called A. A is going to be a subset. We say that f of A is going to be the image of A. So f of A is going to be the set of all images of elements from A. So let's say A1, A2, A3, all the way to AN are elements of A. Now because they're all elements of A, they're also all elements of X, since A is just a subset of X. So if all of these elements belong to the domain, then we can put them in the function to get the images. So then that means the images are going to be F of A1, F of A2, f of a3 all the way to f of a n. These are called the images. The images. So when we talk about f of a, f of a, what we're doing is we're taking every single element that's in a and we're getting the set of all the images. So f of a, we're going to be taking every single element of a, and we're going to be putting it through the function. And that is what's known as the image of a function. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say we have a function that maps the whole numbers to the whole numbers. And let's let that function be defined by f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x. And now what we're going to do is we're going to define a set x. We're going to let x be the set containing the numbers negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So this is a four element set called x. And what we want to do is, if we know that this is going to be the set x, we want to find f of x, f of capital X. So what we want to do is, we want to find the image of x. Well, the image of x is going to be f of x, which is going to be the set f of negative 1, f of 0, f of 1, and f of 2. And then we close up the set. So what this is, is we're taking all the elements from set x and we're feeding them all through the function f. Now if you recall, f of x is defined to be the absolute value of whatever you put into it. That's the absolute value function. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the absolute value of all four of these numbers. So we're going to take the absolute value of negative 1, and we're going to take the absolute value of 0, 
we're going to take the absolute value of positive 1 and we're going to take the absolute value of 2. So working this out, the absolute value of negative 1 would just be positive 1. That's the distance from negative 1 to 0. That's absolute value. The absolute value of 0 is, of course, going to be 0. The absolute value of positive 1 is 1, since the number 1 is 1 away from 0. And the absolute value of positive 2 is going to be positive 2, since positive 2 is 2 away from 0. So we get the set containing 0, 1, and 2. So we can better rewrite this as 0, 1, 2. And that's because the 1 gets repeated right here. So we're just going to limit that to the 1 only showing up once in this set. So that's the image of x. 0, 1, 2. So when you want to find the image, what you want to do is you want to take all the numbers from the set that you're given and you want to feed them into the function until you find the image of whatever set you're trying to find the image of. So I hope this helps.